Okay, so now I'm going to have a look in the veterinary record for any articles relating to umbilical infections in foals. So same thing again. Click on the link from the vet nursing guide. This time it's telling me the online resource is owned by the BVA and they have 1996 to present. So that's fine. Click on that. And again, it'll open the link to the journal article via the DKT website so that it knows I'm a DKT library user and will allow me to access the full text of all the articles in the journal. So now I want to search the, the veterinary records. So I'm going to try uh, equine umbilical infection. So I'm going to try a standard search to begin with. So I'll search, hit search on that and see what I get. And it'll tell me um, how many articles it's found. So it's found 83, which is quite a lot. I don't want to look through them all. So I'm checking it's linked them by, by best match. Okay, so grass sickness. Now you can see that was quite um, a vague search and I'm getting a lot of some relevant articles, some not so relevant. So this one here, for example, umbilical infections in foals, microbial but microbiological investigation management yeah i'm interested in that and it's a recent article 2017 so grant i'm going to click on that i want to see this article in more detail and hopefully download a copy of it okay so click on the pdf it'll open the pdf in the browser i want to switch it from the browser onto my computer so a quick look down through this they were examining 19 folds 40 folds in total so half, nearly half them were abnormal half were normal so this is an actual study where they looked at what they found in the folds umbilicus great so that's going to be useful to me so i want to move this move to my mendeley pdfs and then i want to go into my mendeley library and tell my computer to add this in here as well. So I'm going to find the article here. That's it there. Open that. It's popped into my Mendeley library and I'm going to take it from, it's currently in the all documents and unsorted. I want to sort it into my folder here for equine umbilical infection. So you can see if I click in that folder now, my articles are starting to accumulate in one place. When I go to write it, I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have them all there when I need it. I'm going to sync my library again and I'm going to minimize that and go back to my search okay so that's that paper I'm going to go back to my search result now so at this point here I want to click back if I uh, close that tab I lose my search results disease surveillance EIA so you can see a lot of these are irrelevant so now I'm going to try and refine do a more advanced search so I'm going to go into advanced search and First of all, do I want to exclude meeting abstracts? Yes, there tend to be short articles that were published at conferences rather than full articles, so I don't want those. Um, do I want to exclude um, older articles? I'll probably leave them in for the moment. Um, I could if I only if I wanted to only look at open access or review, but that's all right. Uh, standard or condensed citation. So my keywords then, it can ask me, is there particular things I want to look for? So within the abstract or title, I want equine and I want umbilical. So let's try that. Looking for all these words. This time you can see I only got three of them. So that's the advantage of the advanced search. It allows you to go from 83 articles to three without having to read through them all. And you can see these are straight away a bit more relevant. I've got closure of the abdominal wall at the umbilicus and the hernias. So that might be relevant. Infection, that's the one we found already. And then this one is not going to be that relevant to me. It's abortion due to a and R E Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is going to be relevant. Again, open up the article in the browser. They looked at hernias in folds. This is probably not going to be relevant. But let's look at the text itself in full. So it's talking about umbilical hernias and how they arise. 44 folds. They were checking if they had hernias, they were measuring them. Did 
they found there wasn't a link between so this bit's relevant to me eight of the folds developed with a minor umbilical infection with a thickening of the cord they were treated only two of these developed an umbilical hernia compared to 11 of the 36 who didn't so that's useful that's telling me that um umbilical infection doesn't appear to be linked to hernias of the umbilicus in this particular study so i'm going to keep that that's going to be useful so again move the article to my when uh, sorry that's the wrong folder mendeley pdfs move into mendeley tell it i want to add this file that's it there open and this is an older article so i want to are the details correct so I'll open it up and see so this is a journal article which you can see it's it hasn't got the right title if these fields aren't correctly filled out in mendeley they won't show up correctly in your um citation so it is important to check as you're adding articles that the details are correct from birth to 11 months of age and you can see it's got all this random stuff here that we can get rid of birth to 11 months of age variations closure of the abdominal wall so again with these older articles they often end up with a lot of random stuff in the titles but in details are correct for now so closure of the abdominal wall at the umbilicus and development of umbilical hernias in a group of folds from birth to 11 months of age that's grand the authors then are surname first so it's enzerink e next person is van weeren uh, pr i should actually put a full stop after the e there as well to be consistent and then der velden actually it's van der velden give the person their full title and that is a capital v no, i'll be dutch um, so check it have them right okay then the journal is the veterinary record grand job year is 2000 that's correct and then my volume is over here on the left 147 and my page numbers are 37 to 39 okay and the issue it's march 2020 so 20th sometimes that's a number of the vet record it comes out so often the issue number is um actually it's it's uh they put in the month and then the date now bear in mind this date here july 8 is uh when it was published online not the issue of the journal it was actually in okay everything else seems to be correct and my article is there so grand i'm happy now the details are correct so i've now added this article to my um, documents as well so it's shown up and gradually adding to my collection of articles here for this topic okay so that's a look at how to use the dkt library site to search through these um documents that are going to be our journals that the college subscribes to and has listed on the homepage. i'm going to show you now how to look um through some of the databases in the next video